Okay, this video is going to look at tips for how to rotate objects. So here I've got a town and I uh, actually go over in video number five uh, some ideas of how to make buildings like these. But let's say I want to make a town square, so I want to rotate the red and gold building. I'm going to drag it into more or less position and there are three ways I can rotate it. If you notice the double arrow up top, that's my rotation arrow. And here I'm rotating around the Y axis, which is not what I want to do. If I pan to the other side, that's the X axis, also not right here. But if I look down from above, that's the Z axis. If I find that double arrow, now it's like, that's kind of like the tether ball pole axis. I'm going to spin around a pole there that is uh, coming up out of each object. If I'm rotating outside of the degree ring, I'm going by one degree increments. But if I stay inside, it's 22 and a half degree increments, which makes it a lot easier to rotate at 45, 90, or 180 degrees. So now I've got my building in position. Here I have an arch that I'll go over how to make in video number five. I'm going to group the hole with the arch shape and make an arch, and then I'm going to click Duplicate and repeat. However, I'm actually not going to repeat anything at the moment, but it did make a copy. So I'll rotate 180 degrees, and then I'm going to use the down arrow key on my keyboard to move that arch down. And I just uh, sort of accidentally discovered something in the way that I spaced it um, the first time I tried this. So I'm going to select both these objects. I'm going to click Duplicate and Repeat, and this time I'm actually going to use the Repeat feature. But here I'll go to that Z-axis rotation double arrow, and now without clicking elsewhere, I'll click Duplicate and Repeat two more times, and I'm going to get this neat shape. Here I'm aligning a cylindrical hole with the middle of the shape, and then I'm going to put in a tube and size that to make kind of a flower. Let's say I want to take one of these two flower designs and rotate it to put on uh, one of my buildings. So again, now I want to look at it from the side, use the double rotation arrow, and here I'm rotating around the X axis. So basically when you're rotating objects, you just want to be really aware of what perspective you're looking at the object from, because that's going to dictate how it rotates. So now I can... Uh, select the building and the flower design. I'm going to align them. I'm going to click on the building so that the flower goes to the building and not the other way around. And now I've rotated my star.